Hey friends, it's Advija Coastal Magnolia. I hope you are well wherever you are. I'm gonna do a little experiment today, big surprise there. I'm going to mix up some KS Resin Liquidy Split and I am going to do four wine glasses today. One side is gonna be with alcohol inks and one side is going to be with mica powder and liquid resin dye. And I'm gonna compare, and I'm gonna compare a little wave action today. So stay tuned and let's get started. So I wanna compare these two methods because you will get different results using different colorants. I'm going to put a little bit of resin off into this silicone cup for my white waves. I think that might be a little bit too much. No, we'll go ahead and leave it. And then, so this side I'm going to use alcohol inks and I'm going to use white alcohol ink and then aqua alcohol ink. And then the other side I'm going to use mica powder aqua mica powder and white liquid resin dye mixed into the resin and it's going to give you vastly different looks and my glasses are already cleaned with alcohol 91 percent alcohol isopropyl alcohol i'm going to do a band across the middle that's been a really popular pattern at my art shows but i just want to kind of compare and see see the difference here so this, this is going to be the alcohol ink side and the alcohol inks are going to be put onto a clear base. So that's why I'm not coloring this yet. I don't want it too thick. It's a good liberal layer. I've mixed 40 milliliters and it's going to be about 10 milliliters per glass. And I do already have my uh, heat gun plugged up so I'm not fumbling around. All right. my hand so that I'm not gumming up my heat gun. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and put some heat, low heat, high air, and I'm just going to come in here and pop bubbles. I'm not focusing on moving any resin right now. I'm just heating it up and popping bubbles. Okay. And now I'm going to go in just with the aqua and the white. And I'm going to just put my aqua. Oh, it's boogered up, isn't it? Hold on. Got a booger in it. Got to unbooger it. It's just a needle. and I'm dropping the alcohol on the resin, okay? Not dropping it on the glass itself. Or not on, you know, on the clear glass, you know what I mean. I think this dropper is just boogered up. It's 
that's why it's not really coming out. Let me see if I can fix that. Just lost it. Maybe not. Okay. There we go. That is much better. If you do get any on the glass, it's no sweat. All right. Now I'm going to go in with the white. Oh, that's going to be a lot. It's coming out quite fast. Can you see that? Probably a little bit too much there. This dropper bottle is definitely not boogered up. That's really pretty though. Okay, now I'm going to heat it and try to move some resin now. Low heat, high air. And what I'm doing is pushing down on the resin. I'm pulsing it just kind of off and on and that's it on that one resin is still running and you can see I'm going to turn this off so right here the resin has really heated up and it's gotten really runny but what that's going to do eventually it's going to settle and as it thickens it's going to give us a really really cool look and this one too supervisors come to visit so see that one is going to give us some really cool little squirrels in there really really digging that okay make sure you can see yes okay sorry about the shadow I am getting a new light very very soon and the wind just picked up. So I think we are about to get a storm. All right, so in this cup, I'm going to put two drops. Oh, you can't see the cup, can you? Two drops. One, two. I'm gonna put three for good measure. Um, not sure of the brand name of this liquid resin dye. I've had it for a while. And then what's left over in my cup, I'm gonna go ahead and put my Sesso Mica Powder in Aqua. And I'm going to put, an, I think this is an eighth of a teaspoon. I'm gonna mix that directly in my cup. Remember, this is the cup that is left over, okay? When you're working with mica powders and resin, you really want to stir well because if you if you have any dried bits of mica powder in your resin, you could end up with some little, um, you know, little pockets of color on your glass that may fish eye. So you want to mix that really, really well. Look how pretty of a color that is. That is really, really pretty. All right. 
So now again, I'm just going to put a swipe of color and then I'm going to go in with my white. see me dripping resin everywhere. We're messy. We want to plant a little bit more than I wanted to on that one. I really do think that's enough and like I always do I have a little mold here a little turtle mold you go ahead and pour the leftover resin in there This is a really, really popular color at my shows. This aqua, this aqua and white combination is a really big hit. Wiping my hand off here. And I am not going to heat it just yet. I'm gonna mix up my white. And I'm gonna put a bead of white along the top. And I'm putting it on top of the existing resin. Oops. So you want it on top of the resin. Okay. getting drips on the glass, but I can wipe that off in a minute. Here comes the rain. show you if I did not blow this out at all if I just let it go it would turn out a lot like this so what I did on these glasses um, last week I just left the white to naturally flow down as the turner arm turned I didn't put any heat on this I just let it flow and I really really like this look but I am going to heat this one okay so I'm going to take my heat gun and what I'm going to do is blow that way um, and I think this is just going to give me a better angle and I'm just realizing I'm wearing my good shorts. Alright, low heat and high air and I'm pushing, just going to push. and down the glass. And just be patient. There you go. Now 
Now you're not going to get like a foamy wave, but it does feather it out. And if you're lucky, you'll get lacing like you would on a flat surface. So it does heat up the resin. And you can see it running. But what it's going to do is it's going to run around the glass, just the natural movement. And you can also turn your turner on and off and just let it sort of continue on around. But you don't want it to get where it drips, like I just got that big drip. But it's a really cool effect. And it's just a swirly, neat swirly pattern. And see, I did get lacing right there. A little bit of lacing, a little bit of lacing there. You could also hit it, see right there the lacing? You could also hit it with some alcohol and you might get some cells and some lacing too. Did get a lot more lacing in this one. This is the alcohol ink side and it does tend to sort of pull down, but the alcohol inks do lace a little bit better when you're when you apply heat this is a cool look it's just different you know it's just a different look it's a really popular color combination and put some alcohol on a rag just try to clean up these little drips here i'm gonna leave that one i really like that one And I have a little bit of white left, so we could add and just let And just let it kind of do its own thing. Okay, so we're going to let that go. for a little while come back this way so here they are side by side these are just two of the glasses I made for you know so you know very similar colors and you can see the the method was the same the method that, that I applied it was the same but the effects are way way different and one is more soft and you know, soft and flowy, and this is more like a stormy sea, but I love them both. I really, really do. I do have some cleanup here to do on this one where the alcohol ink kind of got on the glass, but I really love them. They're, they're going to be great sellers, and I am really happy about that. Here are the other two. I'll probably leave that. I like that. That's resin, but I just have a little bit of cleanup to do. Let me know which one's your favorite. I'm not sure which one I like the best, but I know these are gonna sell. I My next show is March 2nd and 3rd in Cocoa Village, which is in Florida. It's in the historic village if you've never been there. It is so much fun. It's like a little historic downtown. It's really, really cool. All kinds of neat little shops and great restaurants and great music. This is how I clean them. I'm just cleaning off the alcohol ink that got on the glass. Just 
one's good. This one, I have a little bit of ink right there at the top. There we go, all clean. Ooh, little stray piece of glitter there. I don't know where that came from. All right, so let me know which one you like the best. Drop me a comment and let me know. Are you gonna give this a try? Mm -hmm. I think I like this one, but I don't know. It's kind of a hard decision. Let me know. All right, bye friends.